So now in this video, we're going to look at reverse polarity protection. So I wired up a, a couple of circuits here. These are polarity indicator circuits. So right now this side of the circuit is more positive. The yellow LED is lit up and that uh, circuit, again, more positive there. So the red LED is lit up. What we're going to do, and by the way, I'm using a bench power supply. I have current set to uh, be limited to about half of an amp. So if I short circuit, don't uh, purposely short circuit really ever a power supply, but uh, you won't hear anything now. But he now you'll hear a click as I release it. It was set to limit current, so I can short circuit it. So I may accidentally short circuit in this video. If you hear that click, that is why. But uh, in any case, always avoid uh, short circuiting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, both of the jumpers off the power supply to begin with. Now we're going to put the red jumper to the negative rail there. So it also connects to the other negative rail there. And what we're going to do is go to the other side of the load. Now you can see that the uh, green LED lights up on this side when I come to where that uh, resistor is. It's a polarity indicator circuit. Same with this one over here. We come up there, the blue LED lights up. Now I'm going to go to the rail but because of the uh, diode there, nothing happens. And uh, we did make a direct connection to that other rail too. So that rail is also energized. Nothing's happening. But we can also go right to the uh, transistor. Nothing happening. So we are protecting it from reverse polarity. So this is a polarity indicator circuit. It's made to uh, safely let that uh, current go either way and an LED lights up. But what we're using the green and the blue LED for are indicators that uh, we just fried a component that cannot handle current in that direction. So we're just designing this circuit to, in the future, protect a component that can't handle when this side of the power supply is more positive than that side. So we are using a diode here and that is commonly known. You need to protect current from going one way but not the other use a diode all the time so it is a rectifier diode but it doesn't make a perfect rectifier we have a p-channel enhancement mode MOSFET right over here a BS250 to be uh, specific and in a real case uh, scenario cir uh, circuit you may need a different uh, p-channel enhancement mode type MOSFET but this is just a demonstration video also before I forget we have 5 volts at the rail right now. These are 1 kilo ohm resistors protecting the LEDs because we're going to step up the uh, voltage later. But in any case, let's move on and look at the P-channel MOSFET a little closer. So now I grabbed another, uh, the exact same component there, but uh, I don't want to yank that one out of the board. You can see there we have BS250, so that's the part number. Now this is the more curved side of this. Uh, this is an E-line package. So it's actually the back is more flat. Usually the uh, components that look like this are the TO92 package where the front is flat and then the back is curved. But uh, the main takeaway is the writing here is on the more curved side. It is the uh, front side of it. And let's uh, shift the light. And I have a transistor tester here. So again, curved side is facing us. The side with the writing, we are going to lock it into place. And this transistor tester just makes it easier to uh, uh, quickly swap components and get a quick reading. But it's going to test it. And you can see their P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. We have the pin layout there. So that's looking at the uh, curve side there. So pin number one is the drain. Pin number two is the gate. And pin number three is the source. And by the way, the uh, MOSFET schematic symbols are not uniform. There's a number of different ones used even for the same component, but uh, this one's uh, pretty commonly used. And it also shows the body diode, which is uh, what we're actually using in this video, but topics for other videos. So there you can see it normally wants to conduct when the drain is more positive than the source, which is what we have when the power supply is wired uh, properly. And we're taking advantage of that. Very few circuits actually do. But when you use the transistor as a diode, it does. So we have the uh, flat side over here. So the uh, drain is actually down here, the gate in the middle, 
and then the source up there we got the uh, or no up here is the drain I mean sorry about that we got the drain there because this is the flat side so left pin looking over here drain gate source so source is down there with the p-channel enhancement mode MOSFET usually the source is towards the more positive side of the circuit but we have it backwards and uh, so even with the jumper to the negative rail it conducts very easily and we are gonna look at that right now because that is the main advantage to this so you learn uh, pretty quickly <clears throat> that you can use a diode to prevent reverse polarity so that is not a new topic if you've been studying electronics for uh, even a brief period of time probably so not everybody learns everything in the same order but that's usually something that comes up pretty quick so we're gonna go to uh, voltage and zoom in a little bit so let's go with the uh, normal scenario you use a diode to keep current going in one direction but not the other so we got 5.14 uh, at the rail on uh, both sides there now we're going to go to the load. So this load, you can see that uh, we got that diode drop, 4.6. And sometimes that's not a big deal. And then other times it is. There you can see we have almost the full power supply voltage. We have a tiny loss, but very little. We can go directly across the uh, transistor and see it looks like it's about uh, a short circuit or something. Uh, 0 0.02 volts that uh, is dropped whereas the the uh, rectifier down here will have probably have about 0 0.6 volts across it once I get a good connection there you can see uh, almost 0 0.7 volts so higher current is gonna go up to about 0 0.7 volts so in any case we have that diode drop whereas we do not have it with the p-channel MOSFET and that's usually what you uh, use it for so Let's also look at it when we get the polarities reversed. So I'm going to put the uh, positive jumper to the negative rail and then the uh, negative jumper to the positive rail. And they are both off. So first let's look at this one. And I found this interesting. So they're reverse bias. We have a little voltage buildup because there is a little leakage through the diode. So even though it's a rectifier diode, it's not 100% perfect and so a little currents leaking we are getting a little voltage buildup this one's a little more interesting so we come first let's go across the uh, the MOSFET we'll see the uh, voltage build up there so that's a power supply voltage plus the green LED is blocking a little voltage and so there's gonna be a little voltage build up it's gonna block a little bit so it's not building up voltage across it but uh, there is leakage and uh, so not all of the voltage does make it to the transistor but there you can see it is a black in it and then we come to this one you can see it's black and about the same because the blue LED blocks about the same uh, voltage but there's a little bit of uh, leakage current but now we go across the uh, load here because remember it's the load we're interested in not the transistor and the diode let's go uh, across here there you can see that Oddly enough, even though the power supply voltage is reversed, we have a slight positive voltage there. And I think that's because the uh, transistor, it's connected both to positive and negative. It's different gates. And so it's uh, the uh, gate is actually more uh, to the positive rail now because the polarities are swapped. And uh, somehow it's working out where we actually have the voltage we desire more. Whereas with... Uh, even though it's not enough to actually do anything whereas with this one there's a negative voltage which makes sense because this side the red probe is more negative than uh, that side so even while it is uh, blocking the uh, voltage as a rectifier diode we're using a uh, MOSFET as a rectifier diode basically even when it's blocking it's doing a better job blocking uh, but that's not the uh, main advantage it is well it is forward biased that is the main advantage so let's go back to a blue being on the negative rail and red being on the positive rail and we got them light up now we don't have that uh, diode drop we have the diode drop here so we lost about uh, almost 0.7 there 
whereas this one we didn't so any case it's a P channel MOSFET right now it is wired unusual as a diode and when we let's not short circuit anything let's try to uh, keep uh, keep good so I'm gonna put negative to the positive rail positive to the negative rail so right now the P channel MOSFET is actually wired so drain is to the uh, negative rail because remember we got the reverse bias source is to the positive rail and then the gate is to the positive rail that's normally how you wire a p-channel MOSFET to be off so right now it's actually in a normal off uh, position but uh, we're just doing that to protect the circuitry it basically just breaks down and conducts now we have the polarities opposite of what the p-channel MOSFET likes to work properly and when uh, we looked at the schematic symbol we saw a diode on there there is a diode from a drain to a, so a source there so that it conducts it's forward biased right now so it starts conducting it does have a diode drop but once it gets some current going and then it just starts conducting uh, pretty much freely and so that's uh, a bit confusing you got to read up on that a bit more but uh, any case as you can see it works as a diode it's this simple to wire it up of course look at a schematic diagram if you're actually building it on your own for the most part this was just a demonstration but hopefully it's still all made uh, complete sense so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video